Hey, this is Kyle with the Additive Guru, and today I've got another tutorial for you on 2D layout and dimensioning. This time we're going to be adding a section view. What you see on the screen here is what we're going to end up with. The part you see is a part that we modeled in a previous tutorial. If you don't have this part already modeled, go ahead and take a screenshot of what you see here and model this part up and then come back to the video and follow along uh, to see how to sketch this up. Okay, so I'm going to close this and then we'll start from scratch for our drawing. So go ahead and go to design, drawing, and from design. And we'll go ahead with the ASME standard again and a size sheet in landscape format. Say OK. Alright, we can go ahead and drop our view right about there, should be good. And say OK. Alright, once again, we can remove our border. Go ahead and do that. Scoot this title block down just a little bit. Okay, this time we're going to leave this title block alone. So we'll focus on just the view layouts and dimensioning. So let's go to projected view, click your main view, and pull your side view. view. Okay, we'll go ahead and do an isometric view as well. Okay and then hit enter and it creates all those views for us and on this one same as previous go ahead and edit this view to remove the hidden edges okay alright let's zoom in on these views and get our dimensioning started we need to create our center marks first so put center marks on all the holes and then also put center lines on the side views of the holes. It's good practice to see those center lines. Okay, not that one. Undo that. There we go. Okay, one more. All right. We're also going to add a center line for the entire part, and this just denotes the center of the part, that it's symmetric about this center line. And once you create it, you can click on it, and you see these gray arrows that, that pop up. You can just click them and move them to where you want them, and then click again, and it extends the line. It's really easy to do. Okay, so go to the dimension function. And we'll start with this top view here. So pick the ends of our center marks. And we're going to fully dimension this part. Okay. And we can come back and clean up these dimensions after we've got them all on the on the view okay so just escape out of that function and then you can click on this dimension here that didn't come out quite the way we wanted you get these gray boxes you can pull it over and place your dimension right where you want it there we go Okay. All right, let's move on to our main view. And we've got a hole here. And we've got a radius here we need to dimension. And then these corner radii. And then an overall height to the center of the hole. Then we've got a thickness on this base. 
drop that on there. And then we've got a thickness for this uh, gusset. Okay, that should do it. Hit escape on that, and we can clean up these dimensions. Okay. Doesn't always do it exactly the way you think it would, so you just have to play with it a little bit to to get it to cooperate. There we go. Nope. All right, we'll leave it with that. Okay, click on this radius, and you see we've got two of them. So double click, click to the left here, and put a 2x space, and hit Enter. And that just means two times the radius of 15. Okay. All right, let's move on to the side view. And we've got a thickness here for this boss. And then we've got a diameter of the boss as well. So we want to highlight the line that represents the circle in the side view. And that'll give you your diameter symbol. Okay, we've got an angle here. So click the two lines and make up the angle. And I like to pull it away from the view as opposed to being on the view. So to mention the 120 degrees versus the 60 degrees, which would be pretty cluttered. Okay, we've got our base width. And then this little feature right here, we'll need to zoom in on that. Okay, looks like it, and we'll hit escape and clean up these dimensions. So it's good practice to not have the dimensions on the part. You want them pulled away from the part as much as possible. This arrow right here, you could move it down to this side, but it's acceptable to leave the arrow over the part there. Okay. All right, so that is a fully dimensioned part. Now I'm going to show you the section view. So if you click this function up here, it's a section view. And we're going to use our center line that we created. So first you have to click the outline of the view that you want to create the section on. And then click the top point of the center, center line mark and the bottom point and hit enter and that allows you to pull your view off to one side or the other so you can see if you pull it to the left it'll move the arrows pointing to the right and if you move it to the right it moves the arrows pointing to the left okay so just drop the view where you want it hit OK All right, and it gives you a title Let's go ahead and move that title so it's not interfering with the title block. And then we can move uh, this isometric view as well. And then you can see we've got some overlap here. We, we don't want that. So we just click on your section cut and you can move the arrows and lettering right where you want it. All right, so that is your fully dimensioned part with your section view. And on our follow-up tutorial, we'll be showing you how to change your title block and add some text. So thanks for watching, and check out the other t great tutorials we have on the Additive Guru.